Hey everybody, welcome back to the Joe Rockstar channel. Wow. Round 7 of the Amra Motor City Off-Road Championship Series, the Kirkland Harris Scramble, was a whole new experience for me. I've been a fair weather rider since the start, partly because the weather is always fair here in Arizona. They said it would rain, which meant no dust this year. What we did get was mud. Greasy, slick mud. And I have to tell you, I think I'd rather have the dust. I'll probably take a lot of heat in the comments for this, but I'm not a fan of clouds, rain, cold, and mud. I'm a tropical peoples. Give me sunshine and blue skies every day. And more often than not, Arizona weather keeps me happy, but not this day. Now this was one of the rare races where the A and B class riders would race before us. And during their race, the rain actually stopped, and it looked like the course might dry out a little bit. I even managed to get the drone up for a short time, and I was really hopeful that it would last. You see, I've never ridden in mud before, except the occasional puddle here and there, and I was not looking forward to my first real experience in the mud being a race. Much to my disappointment, the rain returned, right as our race was getting ready to start. I got to the start line pretty early. Sitting there for about an hour in the rain on a cold and windy day makes Joe a very dull boy. So to keep the blood flowing, I got off the bike and wished all the riders on the line good luck. Once the first row started, I was focused, and the cold and rain was no longer an issue. I debated going for the whole shot, but unsure of my skill in mud, I was betting that there might be some carnage at the first turn, so I decided to hang back to avoid getting caught up in it. This strategy seemed to work decently as I easily passed several riders in a short distance. However, keeping true to my race tradition, I tucked the front wheel and went down shortly after, giving a few of those spots right back. The mud made the ground feel greasy. It was soft and slick, and as I rode through it, the tires made a sound the sponge makes when you squeeze water out of it. It felt as if there was no traction. The front tire would slip and slide until it found a rut to get stuck in. I will not lie, I was nervous, and I really wanted to make Kirkland my first race without a crash, so I started out riding very cautiously. After a while I started to get a feel for the mud, but for every little bit of confidence I gained, I would lose a little more ability to see. Mud and rain accumulated on my goggles. Most of the time I was looking through a mud smeared lens, and when the rain would rinse the mud off, it felt like I was looking at the course through funhouse mirrors from a carnival attraction. I chose to continue to ride at a medium pace, only getting on it at the straights. No more crashes. 
But about a third of the way through the first lap, an anxious rider spoiled my plan. I moved over to let him pass, but for some reason, he waited until the trail closed in on us to attempt to pass. He clipped me hard and sent me tumbling, and I was furious. I was fuming when I tried to gather myself and my bike, my camera, and get going again. And bike after bike passed by. Now I'll leave it up to you to decide, but I still feel like this guy made a bad decision, and I paid the price for it. I guess what really bothers me is he didn't even check to see if I was okay. That incident really got to me. I was really angry. In addition, my front wheel was out of alignment with my handlebars for the rest of the race. So, bad attitude, muddy goggles, and a screwed up bike, it all started going south for me. For the next 20 miles I would struggle while the competition was on its A-game. It would appear that I wasn't the only person having a hard day, and I would have my share of adversity. But as the race went on, I started to just enjoy the ride. I switched my thinking. I knew there was no chance at placing in the top 10, so I just focused on the experience, to learn what I could from it, and to leave Kirkland, Arizona with a new set of skills, like riding in the mud. I even found time to joke about getting taken out by another rider. Crazy me. That's crazy me. <laughs> so, Miss Crazy and those guys are racing for, you know, lots of money, big prizes. Most of all, I just tried to keep a positive attitude. To keep riding, I even made a few passes. But the course wasn't finished with me yet. Wow, this mod really takes the difficulty of my first race. I just dialed it up to 11. Which way does it go, right or left? 
This looks bad, but it wasn't the end of the race. I just needed a little help putting the camera away. Despite all my troubles, I finished the race, and I didn't even come in last. I took a healthy 12th place. And not only did I just finish the race, I've got a really good understanding of what it's like to ride in the mud now, and what it does to your bike. Despite all the mud and the cleaning that I'm going to have to do, the cold and the wet rain, and all the crashes on that race, man, riding in the mud is actually really fun. I highly recommend it. I also have to say for those of you who stuck around to watch all of this, thanks a lot, I really appreciate it, and I highly recommend you come back for the next one. Until then, Joe Rockstar out.